Thanks so much. Well, September is Suicide Prevention Month, and the numbers are more dire than ever. According to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, 123 people die by suicide every day. How can you recognize the signs when friends, or relatives, or colleagues are suffering? Well, we have Alpert Jewish Family Services Director of Community Outreach and Mental Health First Aid here with us today. Welcome, Cindy Widis. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thank you. So tell us more about the Mental Health First Aid program. Sure. Well, Mental Health First Aid is an educational training that is geared for community members. It teaches community members how to recognize signs and symptoms in someone that might be showing early signs, worsening signs, or even crisis signs of a mental illness. And we teach folks how to actually approach that person in an effective way. And at the Albert Jewish Family Service, we're the lead agency. We're the county leader for a multi-agency coalition of all of the instructors out in the county teaching mental health first aid. So, Sydney, talk to us about what those signs are. I feel like a lot of people may not know what to look for. And sometimes with suicide, it's such a personal thing. People don't you know, feel comfortable talking about it. Right. Well, for instance, with suicide, if somebody is giving away their prized possessions, calling somebody to make sure they take care of their animals and getting all of their personal things in order. That's a sign that something might be going on. Through the training, we actually teach people how to ask them right directly out, are you thinking about harming yourself? Are you thinking about killing yourself? Putting that idea in their head is a myth. It does not put the idea in their head. And it's been proven that people who have suicidal thoughts want to talk about it. It's all about starting the conversation. You're talking about training. What exactly goes into this training? Yeah, well, the training is an interactive class that helps folks build skills on to how to listen non-judgmentally, how to reassure versus giving advice, and how to encourage that person to go to the right professional to get help. We want to make sure you're safe, and it's just like CPR and first aid where you're the initial step. Well, as a mental health first aider, you're the initial step in getting that person to help as well. Very similar. So besides the program, um, does your organization actually offer any of that counseling um, for people who, you know, maybe it's a family member that you want to approach and, you know, tell them more about it, but like don't want to, you know, make them feel uncomfortable? Right. Well, it's a hard conversation to have, and we all have to be in this together and help fight the stigma. But our agency actually has an intake line. It's called our high line, C-H-A-I line, where you can actually talk to a trained professional and have an evaluation and get into one of our departments. We actually have um, clinical services and counseling from children all the way up to older adults. So yes, but as part of mental health first aid, we will give the person a whole list of resources out in the community, including the suicidal hotline. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Sydney White is there with the Jewish Family Services. You can find all their information on their website. Thank you so much for joining Thank us, you. Sydney. Thank you.